The Indiana Department of Transportation has plans to replace one of Clay County's iron bridges. The Eel River Bridge on State Road 46 is on the block to get an upgrade. However, the plan includes taking away a piece of history. As News 10's Matt Gregory reports, one group has a plan to upgrade traffic, but also preserve one of Clay County's remaining landmarks. It's new for you tonight at 10. As gentle as the breeze along the Eel River on a cool January day, the howling contrast of cars suspended above marks the road from Terre Haute to Bloomington on the Bowling Green Bridge. Uh, this bridge was built in 1933 by the Vincennes Bridge Company. As you can see, the traffic on the bridge, quite a significant uh, thoroughfare, uh, estimates of almost uh, uh, 20, almost 2,400 vehicles a day cross this bridge. And over the years, the old iron riveted trusses have seen their share of wear and tear. Several times in the last few years, the bridge has closed down for repairs. And late last year, Indiana Department of Transportation okayed a replacement bridge just to the south. So what happens to old Ironsides? The plan, according to Jeff Kaler, is, believe it or not, to take this bridge down and reassemble it as a walking bridge in Brown County, Indiana. That's why Kaler and a few others started the Save Our Bowling Green Bridge Group with the idea to turn this piece of the past into a new future. Maybe we could have a park here, a canoe or a boat ramp, uh, some of the things that people in uh, coming up and down the road or Clay County could enjoy. You can see from the plans the new bridge would still go in to the south. But as of right now, this is just the hope of a historian and his group. You know, we're, we're trying to garner support and we, we wanted to bring it to the public to try to help make this decision. On the banks of the Eel River with photojournalist Gary Bryan, Matt Gregory, News 10. There will be a public meeting about the bridge January 29th at the Bowling Green Community Center.